Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today my beautiful client Emma has come in. I have removed all of her previous design using the Balbit from Nail Dot Supplies. It whips it off in seconds. It's my favourite bit to use and it's always linked in the description box. And then obviously prepped all her natural nails, replaced the one that she had last. And now I am, oh, did all prep work, obviously, cleaned away all the dust and um, applied a new clear base. And now I'm coming in with CJP Vegas Lights. Now this is like, it looks more red kind of on film, but it's like the most neonest corally colour ever. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm just placing that, doing a full nail of this on her pinky finger. Super easy to work with, super pigmented. Absolutely beautiful, perfect for those tanned hands. So I'm using the big boy brush, as you can see, just it's my favorite brush, I love it. And I'm just like adding little bits here and there to make sure that it's all nice and full of coverage. So when I'm happy with that, I'm going to come in with crystal glass and just cap that nail. Just making sure I've got plenty of strength on these because they are really long. So I do want them strong. I do want them to be able to withstand, you know, daily life. So this is why I choose to go in and cap. You don't actually need to cap Vegas Lice. And we do have that clear base underneath. But I am choosing to because these nails are so long and I want them strong. <clears throat> excuse me so moving on to the ring finger i'm going to come in i think i use birthday suit i did these a few days ago now yeah so i'm coming in with birthday suit placing it at the cuticle tucking it in with the tip of my brush but also using that as a barrier to pull any product away from the skin and then just tapping down one side and swiping down and then just bringing the rest of that product down and then I'm going to come in with the mm, blah, blah, micro, no, not micro shards, mirror shards. Yeah, mirror shards from the Glitter Fairy in Opalite. And I'm just going to do like a glitter fade on the end of this nail. And then when I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and cap that nail in crystal glass. So placing the bead, I'm not going right back to the cuticle nail bed area. I'm literally just doing this to cover the glitter and make the glitter area nice and strong with our structure. And obviously to cap the glitter so that you don't file it off when you come to filing. So onto the middle finger and I'm going to go ahead and do a marble just down one half of the nail. So just the free edge is going to be marbled. So I'm using the Vegas Lights and Coconut Milk. Just dragging it up and down through each other. Bringing it down and then I'm just going to do it again until I'm happy with where all that marble is 
play so i'm just gonna let you watch that I'm then going to use Bertha's suit and cap and blend down onto the ombre so the ombre almost kind of fades away. So just tucking it in, blending it down and then I'm going to just place some of those shards just along where that join is. And then obviously you're going to have to cap that nail as well to protect your glitter and your ombre. So the index finger is going to be the exact same as the pinky, so it's just going to be a full nail of that Vegas Lights. So I'll just place it at the cuticle area, tuck it in nice and neat, make sure it's all nice and neat. <laughs> uh, bringing it back down, blending it down, and then I'll go in and go for the full coverage on the rest of the nail and obviously cap this again. I can't remember if I actually recorded the thumb or not or what I even did on the thumb. But I'm sure I will see as you see. Okay, so moving on to the thumb, and before anyone makes a really, before anyone makes a comment about the condition of the nails underneath, there is no fungus or greenies on her nails at all. Um, it is just her natural nail underneath, and I always clean the under of the nails first, and any little bits that have got stuck in any little ridges, after I've done all the nails, I actually take my e-file and e-file all of that out from underneath the nails, so before you judge, it's not dirt or greenies or fungus, it is literally just her natural nails and the underneath, I clean my clients everything, like, anyway, by the look of it here, I'm doing an ombre. So I've took that Vegas Lights, I've blended it in on the nail bed so we can get that nice seamless blend. And I'm going to obviously use the nail bed that I've used throughout, which is birthday suits. I absolutely love birthday suits, one of my favourites. So I just pick it up, place it on, tap it into the cuticle area, or if I'm blending onto the nail plate, I use the tip of my brush for that. And then just kind of walk around the bead and blend that down onto that colour that I've used at the tip. And then I'm going to come in with a cuticle bead just to kind of get it a bit closer. And perfect that ombre. So again, picking up like a medium bead. Placing it on. I'm sorry that it keeps going out of focus. I'm not actually sure what it keeps losing the focus to. I don't know if it's trying to focus on my brush. I know that it keeps popping in and out, which is a bit frustrating. So after I'm happy with my cuticle area, I think I do just come back in with that 
coral and just kind of blend it up again. Just to take it up to where that other on the like the sides have gone a little bit further up. And then I'm happy with the ombre. And then obviously what I'm gonna do is go back and cap all of the nails that need capping. So this one with the glitter, trying to keep it quite thin with the cap, making sure my strength is there, but not obviously overbalking the nail, which is easily done. So after that, filed, shaped and buffed all the nails and then I used these, put some of them stunning crystals on. They are from Angel Crystals and I'm telling you now, they are absolutely stunning. Like, I'm not sure of the name. I think it's Crystal Cut. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. I'll leave a link in the description box, but I'm telling you, they are so sparkly and blingy. They're freaking amazing. So anyway, yeah, I've cleaned all the way, all of the dust, and then I'm top coating in my favourite, which is the CJP Tack Free Top Gloss. You can use any top gloss that you prefer to use. It doesn't have to be what I use. You can use any acrylic that you want to use. It doesn't have to be the same. This is just what I love to use. After these were all applied, I placed in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and then I'll go in and nourish her cuticles with some cuticle oil just to replenish everything we've dehydrated out of her nails today prior to service, which is why nine times out of ten the nails and fingers and hands look dry when, while you're applying your acrylic because you've cleaned and scrubbed and dehydrated and that is why they're dry. Obviously, you replenish that moisture afterwards. But I've left a little clip at the end and I hope you love this set. I am just going around with a striper brush to get around the back of those crystals just to make to make sure they're extra secure and they're not going to lose any. And then that's the finished video, you lot. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.